Hi guys, Bolash here from Business Cookhouse and today I'm going to show you how to crop an image in Inkscape and I'm also going to show you a couple of tricks. So basically you can have thousands of different use cases when you want to crop an image in Inkscape. My situation was last week I wanted to make a Pinterest picture for my article about how to choose a domain name and for Pinterest it's best to use a vertical image. So I went ahead to Pixabay, which is my favorite free picture finding website. And I wanted to find a picture which I can use as a background. But this was the best that I found, which I really liked. But the problem was it's a horizontal picture. So I needed to crop it. So we ended up with this result. So this is what I'm going to show you today. We are using this horizontal picture. We need to crop it in Inkscape. So we only use the left hand part of the original picture to get a vertical picture. And I'm going to show you a couple of tricks how to make it gradiently transparent at the top and also how to finish it with the text and the logo. So let's jump right into it. I have my page set up in Inkscape with the desired dimensions, which are a thousand pixels width by 1500 height. This is by the way a preferred size for Pinterest pictures. I have a separate video on YouTube on how to set up page sizes in Inkscape. You might want to check that out for more information. Let me just add my original picture simply by dragging it into Inkscape. So this is what we want to use and this is what we want to crop somewhere here. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna place this picture at the bottom left corner of my page and try to make it bigger by holding down the control key and trying to find where I'd like to crop it. So imagine the line here. Let me just put the line here to show you what I want to do. And I guess it's gonna be like that. So this is the dimension, this is the size we want to use our original picture and we want to place the text over here and we also want to make that nice transition later in the video at the top of the picture. But as a first step, as I mentioned in the title of the video, we want to crop the picture right to this size. Now what you want to do is to create a rectangle, a simple rectangle in Inkscape that matches the size that you want your original image to crop to. So in this case we could draw a rectangle just like that. This is a good idea. Or I could just go ahead and draw a rectangle that matches the size of my page. That would also work. If you want to see what parts you are cropping from your original image, then just go ahead and change the or remove the fill and give it a stroke like, I don't know, two pixels. And this way you can see that this is what we are going to crop. But let me just go back and have a nice clean white rectangle. And it is very easy to crop an image actually in Inkscape. You just have to go ahead and select the original image. Then by holding down the shift key and clicking on your rectangle, select the size that you want to apply for the cropping process. And then there's only one more step you need is go ahead and click on object clip and set. And there you go, you just clip your image in Inkscape. Now let me show you the other tricks to make this picture actually nice. So the first thing we want to do is we want to do kind of a nice gradient here because later when we place the text it would just be awful if we left it like that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to duplicate this picture first by hitting Ctrl D. So we have two pictures, then flip it, flip it vertically, then I'd like to place it here, but in order to align it perfectly, just let me grab this picture and then by holding down the shift key and clicking on the other picture and go ahead and select relatively 
to the last selected, which is this one. We want to place it in the middle and we want to place it at, at the top. Now you need an additional step here because if I zoom in, you can see that there is a fine white line here. So let me just grab that picture and and by holding down the Alt key and pressing the down arrow like two or three times, I think now we're good to go. Let me just, yeah, now we're good to go. So the next step is to make this gradient disappear at the top, but before that, or in order to do that, we need another cropping. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw a rectangle that matches the size of the page, which is 1000 by 1500 and align it to the page. I'm gonna remove this stroke and just do the same thing that we did before. Go ahead and select the picture, then shift select the rectangle and go ahead and click on object clip set. And here we go. We have our background picture. We just need to make this gradient disappear. For that, I'm going to go ahead and draw yet another rectangle, which is a thousand pixels width. And the height doesn't really matter in this case. You, you are going to see what I'm talking about. And that, let me place this right in the middle of the page and at the top of the page like that and go ahead and set the gradient by simply selecting Ctrl Alt F and this one, basically the linear grad gradient. And you want to change the gradient by having our white somewhere here and our transparent part somewhere here. Just hold down the Ctrl key so you're going to have a perfectly vertical line and you can play with it I guess this is the right position so now we have our perfectly disappearing background with a nice gradient here no one's gonna tell that we just use the same image somewhere here and we duplicated it and the last step is to place the text which is not a big challenge in this case. I just click on adding a text or creating a text and type in the text, how to choose a domain name and go ahead and set up the font, which is uh, this one that I've used in this actual picture. Of course, you can go ahead and play with the different fonts. That's absolutely up to you. And let me just make this a little bit, bit bigger. And I guess we should adjust the spacing, the baseline spacing here, like uh, moving the lines closer together, basically. Something like this. And use a lighter color, like uh, 666. I think we're getting closer. And align this to the center and then go ahead and align the text itself to the center of the page, like, no, like that. Yes, and here is the top. And we just need to move it down a bit. And by pressing the number five, simply the key number five, you can center in your picture, your page. And I think we are pretty much good to go just let me move this a little bit to the top. And the last step is to place the logo at the bottom. I'm going to use a vector format, an Inkscape image, just going to drag and drop it here. And there's only one more thing to do here because I have a white background and I obviously don't want the, the white background here. Just uh, going to ungroup this by hitting Ctrl Shift G and basically remove the, the background, the rectangle, make this a little bit bigger like that, align it to the center of the page and just go ahead and move it, I guess here. And this is our final picture. We did crop an image. We set up this nice gradient at the top and we placed some text and a logo. 
Make sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel for more content like this and thank you for watching.